Hi, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Dixon. And welcome to the February edition of Pierce TV. This month we'll hear from Monica Hospenthal from our dental hygiene program and Monica Nucciaroni from Advising. We have some 3D animation from our digital design program, as well as a film short from digital movie making student Kevin DeFlitch. This month's Meet the Instructor series features Patrick Dougherty. We'll also be featuring some of Patrick's students with dramatic readings from SLAM. But first, we'll start this episode with Jennifer. Marie Kylo and Debbie Ramirez on the ESL programs available on our Puyallup campus. Hi, my name is Marie Kylo, ESL coordinator at Pierce College in Puyallup. I'd like to take some time to share with you some great things that are happening in our ESL program here at Puyallup. Um, you may know that we are aligning our curriculum with state standards. As a result, we've come up with some really fantastic ideas for classroom arrangements, such as stations. Each of our classrooms now have a listening, speaking, reading, writing, life skills, and a technology station so that each of our students will be working on a team. Each team will sit down at a table and there is a um, curriculum there at the table and they will start to go through that. The teacher then walks around the classroom, takes about five or ten minutes with each of the stations to teach them or to advise them, give them counsel, or to correct some mistakes. What happens in the style of teaching is that we're able to spend quality time with a small group of students. We believe by doing this that our students will be prepared and equipped to go to college, get a career, or even get a better paying job. They will become citizens, they will be working in the community, helping the community, participating in volunteering. By us doing this, we really believe that our students are going to be successful. Hi, my name is Debbie Ramirez and I'm an ESL instructor at Pierce College at the Puyallup campus. And we are very excited to be here today to share information about our English as a Second Language innovative programs. We are working with our students in order to help facilitate their own development and becoming responsible citizens, workers, and family members in their communities. What I'd like to mention is how we are using all the opportunities of the Opportunity Grant financial aid by encouraging them to make applications to these funding resources in order to attend our integrated iBEST programs. These programs involve either a two-year, a six-month, or a two-month or two-quarter certificate program such as in Certified Nursing Assistant, Business Technology, Corrections Officer Program. We have two new programs starting up in Accounting and Interpreting, and also the Early Childhood Educator Program. Within our classrooms, we are working with our students to help them develop student success strategies. So they not only learn content information, but they learn skills that they can develop on their own and become responsible for progressing along the different language levels. So we're very excited in regards to hooking up our students with the services available to them through the community resources and as well as the campus resources. Another component that we're beginning to incorporate is mixing different levels of our ESL students. For example, on Fridays every other week, I am taking my ESL class levels three and four and combining it with levels five and six. It's a great activity to pair up students of different levels and to teach them activities such as peer editing, conversation at different levels. We even invite in native speakers from other departments to come in so the student truly has a concept and a real life experience of using their language skills outside the classroom. So on Fridays we develop this CCC called Coffee, Cookies and Conversation and we alternate activities between the two of us as teachers in regards to introducing the students to each other and mingling around trying different levels of English language activities. The other component that we're really encouraging students to participate in is the technology piece. And we take our students to the computer lab anywhere from once to twice a week and they are learning different language skill areas through use of computer technology as well as the operation of software and hardware. They receive exercises to take in their homes, again another way to extend the activity and learning inside their home environments or at the public libraries. 
So all in all, we're very excited about expanding our own world of teaching and creating new curriculum for our students to learn to grow and become responsible students and citizens and community members. Up next are some 3D films from our Digital Design Advanced Modeling and Animation class. You're watching Pierce TV, 
a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. I have a stupid grin on my face, don't I, Jennifer? That's okay, so do I. Well, that's how it's supposed to be done, right? For this month's Meet the Instructor series, here's Patrick Dougherty from our drama department at Fort Stillicum. Hi, my name is Patrick Dougherty, and I teach speech and drama at Pierce College. And one of my favorite things to do here is collaborate on new works written by students in the creative writing program. Um, the last few years here, we've actually staged selections from SLAM, which is a publication written by students here in our college, well, um, members of the community here at Pierce College. It features the best work of the college at the end of the year, and so students self-direct themselves in scenes, poetry, cuttings from plays, and um, it's all part of the 10-Minute Play Festival. I also enjoy working with or collaborating with um, other instructors on these projects because we are hearing voices from all over the world. Not only students here in the Washington area, but we're bringing in students from Korea, from Japan, um, all areas of the world through our student pro uh, international programs here at the college. And so uh, at the end of the year, not only do we stage these 10 minute plays that are published in SLAM, we are also bringing in folk tales from Korea and Japan. This month, we're presenting Charles Bush's The Lady in Question in the Lecture Hall 332, and our staging will consist of, um, well, it's a tribute to the radio days. Think back about Bing Crosby and Bob Hope, and Jack Benny, and all those old-time radio shows. Well, that's how we're staging talk radio, a la radio theater. And I hope everyone in the Lakewood area comes out and sees our production. Thanks, Patrick. The Lady in Question runs through February 20th to the 23rd. For tickets and info, you can contact the box office at 253-964-6535. And now from our advising office, here's Monica Nucciaroni. A four-year degree, does that mean it takes four years of study on a particular topic and you get a bachelor's degree? Actually, no. The first two years of study are mostly made up of general education, or also referred to as liberal arts. And those first two years of general education toward a bachelor's degree have quite a history. Many students say, why do I need to study math? Or why should I take a science class? The answer goes way back. Dating back to ancient Greece and medieval times, the arts were techniques of language and number taught by wise philosophers and scholars. The word liberal meant being free. Anyone who was free could learn these arts. Anyone who was considered a slave, however, including women, were not allowed to study and learn. Later, as societies evolved, the arts could be taught to a wider group of people as many became free. The arts, which consisted of many subjects, has remained the basis or foundation of our educational system ever since. Thinking of liberal arts in the context of today, the courses you take help you think logically, independently, discover new perspectives, and make sound judgments. You can think of it as freeing your mind. Liberal arts also helps you put your own field of study into a broader context. Liberal arts can also be called your core curriculum because it is from that core that all other subject matter arises. So whatever your major course of study in college may become during your junior and senior years, if you transfer to a four-year college, you will have a sound foundation of arts received at Pierce College to fall back on. Up next is some dramatic readings from Pierce College drama students, Roland Hamill, Whitney Blake, and Pierce TV's very own Dixon King. Going to the mall, pouring salt on a slug. Wearing shorts on a warm summer day. Using a pencil and realizing you were supposed to use a pen, so you trace over all the letters, then think it probably would have been simpler to really just rewrite it, and it probably would have looked better too. Tripping over a pebble, wandering. Losing your car in a parking lot. Going to the dentist. Reading a book about dolls. Braiding someone's hair, uh, 
going to sleep all curled up in your blankets and waking up cold with your blankets on the floor, wondering what went on while you seemingly slept like a baby. With hat hair, eating bread and honey, mm, buying a lawn chair, going on a picnic and getting nailed with a frisbee, shopping for a decent pair of sunglasses. Imagine yourself as a poem. Yo, excuse me, miss. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop in the name of love. And I gotta let you know that I can love you like that. And um, I like big butts and I cannot lie. So uh, why don't you come back to my place and I'll have you screaming, who let the dogs out as we uh, push it. But then I gotta kick you to the curb because I'm cold like ice, ice baby. Oh, and honey, I still live with my parents. The night air was soft, humid and still. Looking up, I saw the moon, a pale sliver of porcelain wreathed in silver. Eight men lay in the dust at my feet, blindfolded, puzzles for me to unlock. I took the youngest first, he would be my key. I grabbed him by his robes and lifted him off the ground in one clean jerk. He began to cry. He called for his father. <laughs> the men around me laughed. I marched him quickly, lifting him so his toes skipped along the concrete. I hustled him down that corridor to a room at the end. Now we were alone. I put him against a wall, his breath coming in ragged gasps his head twitching back and forth in anticipation of blows that never came. I leaned in close and began to whisper questions in his ear. And eventually, he told me everything. <laughs> You're watching Pierce TV a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. In February, the Pierce College Fine Arts Gallery features work by Joanne Pavlock. Joanne received her BFA in Painting and Drawing in 2003 from the University of Washington. Her work has been exhibited in Seattle at the Jacob Lawrence Gallery, Gallery 6311, and Soil Art Gallery. Her work was included in the Ten Painters exhibition at Francine Setter's Gallery in February 2007 and a solo show in the Upstairs Gallery this past May. In February, you can see the works of Joanne Pavlock during gallery hours from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Thursday, and 8 a.m. to noon on Fridays in the Olympic Building on the Pierce College Fort Silicon campus. Here from our dental hygiene program is Monica Hospenthal. Speaking. Jennifer, would you take a look? Does that look like a cavity? Hi, I'm Monica Hospenthal, the new program director at Pierce College Dental Hygiene. It's an exciting time to be leading this particular program because we have an agreement with Peninsula College and have six students out in the Port Angeles area, as well as our 20 students uh, per year here on this particular campus in Lakewood, Washington. Our program is still offering all the wonderful services that we've offered for the past 30 plus years, um, all preventive aspects, some limited restorative abilities um, for children and so forth. We're doing a lot of community outreach and that may be actually increasing with some new legislature that has recently passed um, for dental assistants to be allowed to do some restorative dentistry. Um, I personally have been teaching at Pierce College for the past seven years um, under the tutelage of Sharon Golightly, my predecessor. I've been teaching the periodontology series, um, ethics, and nutrition. I've also been the uh, past seven, six years with a co-director for Eastern Washington University's degree completion program here at our campus here in Lakewood for dental hygienists to earn their Bachelor of Science degree. I'm still working in that capacity also and that program has been very successful. Some of our graduates from that particular program are now working as faculty here at Pierce College, which is just exactly what we wanted it to do. 
and we also do um, various community outreach. If your particular organization would like students to come and say provide um, some instruction about how to keep your teeth clean or about what the program is about if they're um, high school students, we do try to stay very involved in recruitment and uh, helping people become aware of the profession of dental hygiene and how, how important that is to the overall health of our community. And particularly lately with the linkage between systemic disease and oral disease, we're seeing a lot more of that. You've probably read it in the Tacoma News Tribune. Certain articles have been, been um, available to the public at large. So we're seeing a lot of changes. Um, oral disease is not something that is isolated anymore. It's, it's part of the bigger picture and it's very important for your overall health. So if we can help you, please come and visit us, give us a call, and we'll see if we can uh, help you get a healthy mouth. Next up is a music video from digital movie making student Kevin DeFlitch, featuring music from local artist Kurt Lindsay. I saw lights in the sky 
Well, that's it for this month's episode. But we're going to leave you today with a special treat, some photography from the digital design program. We'll be back in... <laughs> we'll be macking on March. That's right. We'll be back in March with uh, another episode. But if you want to see this episode again, where can you find that, Jen? Pierce.ctc.edu slash Pierce TV. By the way, go Giants. <laughs>